my cultural connection to Katarapko was my grandparents and that goes right back. Well this land, it means a lot to us. We was all brought up on coming through this national park before it was a national park. We used to do hunting, camping with our grandparents and the ancestors of this land would have been paradise for them. It would have been their paradise. The Katarapko floodplain really is a highly iconic site within the Riverland for camping, for canoeing, for fishing, and the community around Berry area love it, but so do um, a lot of South Australians. But obviously through the changes in the River Murray over the last hundred years, there's been a decline in the health of the floodplain. The restoration project came about with a really concerned local community. So they were noticing the decline in the vegetation with the drought and it was really obvious that the trees were dying and the park wasn't in a very good place. So with the community and the department, we worked together on a plan that then got funded. Since that SAFIT program, our voices have been heard. We've been consulted with on a lot of our traditional sites and they've altered their planning so that they can allow for what values are important to us. <laughs> and so this project is really all about trying to reinstate the ability to hydrate the floodplain and restore some of that health. I noticed there was a lot of improvement after all this infrastructure was built. Before that happened, all our sand dunes wasn't running at all. And the sand was getting blown away from the sand dunes and... The reason I know that this program will be successful is because I have seen the understory vegetation pick up back to its normal health. So SAFIF has made incredible improvements in particularly in this Katarapko area. One of the most obvious things is the vegetation. We've suddenly got new seedlings coming up and then when you get the uh, the vegetation good then you get other things happening so there's uh, birds just came from everywhere and they bred it's incredible stuff to see and uh, and I think it's just good for anyone to be out and, and seeing all this so it's um, it's improved things out of sight so that's that's the immediate thing but we're going to see a lot more in the long term and these things will take time them to heal. Most of the trees will, will take time. It's not going to happen over night, but it's going to take time for them to rejuvenate and drop their seeds so other trees could grow, young, young ones. What I'd like to see for this place is, yep, everybody to enjoy this national park, everyone. The SAFIT program is a step in the right direction towards healing country.